So let's go over the deltoid muscles. Now, these structures are really important. We need to actually talk about the anterior, medial, and posterior deltoids. You okay there, Mickey? Oh yeah. All right. So what I'm gonna get you to do is I'm actually gonna get you to bring your arm down, kind of behind like that, okay? okay? So just take this over here, trying to move in the right position. I'm gonna get you to use both thumbs, taking it down. Taking it down. Good. Back up. So if we're talking about the anterior deltoid, we're talking about the origin being the anterior border and superior surface of the clavicle. Good. You okay? Oh yeah. So it's actually almost immediately, it was loosening. <laughs> I think I flexed. <laughs> okay, now let's just move over towards the medial here and I'll get you to actually bring it back here still. So again, I'm backing up my thumb though, taking it down. Right. So being, we're talking about the origin and we're talking about the medial head of the deltoid. It attaches onto the uh, chromium process of the scapula. There we go. Feel that a bit, don't you? Oh, yeah. Okay. So what I'm actually doing is working around in strips of the deltoid here. Take it down here. Okay. Just kind of pull it in there. Good. Okay. So now I'm getting more on the posterior. So we got the camera to come the other side, actually. Right down. All the way around. So you can see. Perfect. Now posterior, basically in terms of its origin, attaches to the spine of the scapula. Take it down. There we go. Back over. Again, all this whole area is covered by fascial connections too. Now, what I want to go over here, we have the first part here, we talked about the origin. But when we talk about the insertion, all of the deltoid muscles come down to the deltoid tuberosity of the humerus. Now, what I want you to do, Mickey, I'm gonna go on the front here, take it forward just a little oh. in there. Okay. Take it down, and then another pass. I'm going to work my way up towards the medial aspect. You okay? Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to go a little bit posterior from here. Good. Okay, now I'm going to bring this forward here, front, posterior. Good. Now do a little bit of circumduction there, around. There we go. Oh, goodness. Okay, good. Bring this up here, go towards the middle. Take it back, posterior. Okay. Just part way, part, that's okay. it. Now, a little bit of circumduction. Okay. Good. That's totally different. Yeah. Yeah. Take it back up. Now, let's go to the front. Bring it behind again. Good. Now, a little bit of circumduction there. Good. Now, let's work more towards the medial section. Right behind. A little bit of circumduction. You got it. Now, arm towards the front. Good, good. A little circumduction. You okay there? Yeah. Okay, just one more time on the anterior. Take it behind. Good. So the anterior action basically flexes and medially rotates the arm. Back up. The lateral or medial head abducts, abducts the arm. Down. A little bit of circumduction. There we go. Okay, now bring it forward. The front. Posterior head. Down. A little bit of circumduction. Perfect. It basically extends and laterally rotates the arm. Now, all of these are innervated by the axillary nerve. Good. Okay. Now, move the right shoulder around and then move the left shoulder around. There's even no more clicking. Yeah. <laughs> all, all the clicking stopped on Yeah, all the clicking is so, gone. It's, it's a really effective way of actually working around the entire deltoid muscle, the anterior, medial, and the lateral, lateral, and the posterior. Now, if you start getting any sharp pinpoint pain in there, also consider you may have some entrapment of the axillary nerve. We have specific nerve flossing exercises you can do for that. So these are really effective procedures.